Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video episode of Shout Me Loud. I'm your host Harsh Agarwal, and today's video is for all the WordPress user and all the people who want to improve their SEO. So today, what we are going to learn is very easy, very simple, and something you can implement today, and it will help you to drive more traffic. Plus, it will also make your website future-proof. And I would explain that in a moment. But before that, let me quickly show you what exactly we are going to achieve today. So this is Google SERP result for a query, what is affiliate marketing? And you can see here, uh, these are the FAQ schema, like apart from the typical SERP result, you can also see this question and answer which are being shown in the search result. And this is a new thing which Google has implemented a few months back and it is called FAQ rich schema. Now you can do that in WordPress with very easily and I'll show you how to get this thing done. To get started, let me just show you how the, how the actual article looks like. Right. So this is the actual article and you can see I have an, I've added a section called F, FAQ and where I have few questions which people typically ask around this topic and like is it important to have a blog for affiliate promotion and how much does it cost to join the affiliate program. So question like this which people typically ask and I've added this question and also the answer in FAQ schema and you can also do that. So before I show you exactly how to get this done, let me explain you what is the benefit of doing this. So when you start adding FAQs to any topic, you, you're also increasing the questions around that topic. That means you're also increasing, you know, number of word count in those articles, you're adding th those articles more meaningful. And over the time, you'll see start seeing more traffic to that pages, provided you are adding only those questions which make more sense. And how to find those questions, I'll explain at the later part of this video. So apart from that, as you know, people have started using voice search more for finding answer to many questions. And most of the questions are like what, why, how, when, and adding FAQ make sure that tomorrow when like voice search will become the main thing, at least your article stand a chance to be there. So this is how the FAQ would help you to start, you know, incre increase your website traffic and making your website future proof. So now the next question is how do you add a FAQ schema? So for this, we'll be using a popular WordPress plugin called Yoast SEO, which is one of the best SEO plugin out there. And they have added this feature called FAQ schema sometime back. So let me show you how it actually works. So when you're inside your WordPress post edit section, just click on plus icon, search for FAQ here. And then yes, this is how you get the FAQ schema. Now you can start typing the question and answer to them. Right. So this is exactly what I have done here. And you can see these are the question and answer. This is all added by using the FAQ schema feature of Yoast SEO. You can also add images in the answer. However, image, images doesn't show in the SERP pages. Now, the most important question, how do I find questions? Well, this part is also easy. So I will share three different ways by which you can find question related to any topic that you can use as a FAQ. So for this, we'll be using this query called child matrix. And you know, the easy way to get this done is go to Google search and search for your query. And you can see like here are a few questions that Google think is highly relevant to this particular topic. And since you're writing this topic, or even if you're researching about this topic, you can quickly see like, you know, this makes sense that which is the best type of matrix for a child. And this is highly relevant to this topic itself. So now this is a question that will be definitely should be adding as a FAQ. So when you click on this result, Google will auto populate three more questions. And when you click on another result, Google will auto populate three more result. So by doing this, you can find a lot of questions. Now you have to be mindful that you don't end up picking a very irrelevant question. And sometimes Google gives you irrelevant suggestion. So, you know, it's very important that you find only those questions which is relevant to the topic that you're writing on. So that's number one. Now, number two, which is also free, is using this tool called Answer the Public. Now in the Answer the Public, you can search for a query and they have a section called Questions. And here you can find all the questions around this particular topic. So I've searched for child metrics and then we can see these questions like how firm should child metrics be? Now that's a very unique question which probably many of us as a writer would not think of, right? So that's how you start building the question. Now these two are the free ways. Now the third one is SEMrush. Now this is one SEO tool that I've been using for last many years and it is bang on one of the best SEO tool out there. So SEMrush has this feature called keyword magic tool. Now simply go to keyword magic tool, search for the query 
and then it will show you the res re result like this. Now you need to filter this result. Uh, so it will show you all the results. Now click on questions and then you'll be provided with something like this. So here you can see there are keywords like how to choose a mattress for a child. Is a memory foam mattress good for a child? Now what I really like about this page is you also get volume part which is pretty significant. Like you can actually decide like okay this question is going to definitely impact your traffic. So using these two three tools like Google search, answer the public and SEMrush all together you can create a question, you know, a series of questions related to the topic that you are writing about. And that way, and using your SEO FAQ feature, you can add FAQ schema. Now, apart from the fact that it will help your user to get answer to a lot of questions that they have in their mind, it will also help you to get featured on Google SERP like this, which is, which is pretty solid. Now, at the same time, I highly recommend you to use this plugin called Table of Content plugin. Uh, let me show you an example. So, and this, this section is called table of content, right? People can actually click on any of this part to quickly jump to the section itself. What important useful here is that the FAQ part is being shown here, which actually helps to get indexed in the search result as jump link, which is also very powerful. So make sure that you definitely use table of content with all this to improve your on-page SEO and increase your chance of driving more traffic, right? And let me just show you how, to, how it jumps. So just select the part and then there you go. So that's how this whole system works. I hope this video adds value to the way you blog or the way you create content. And I hope to hear, hear your result. If you have any tricks to share with me, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, do like and share with other bloggers whom you feel are going to get benefit with this video. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. This is Harsh.